truth is the new hate speech. During times of universal deceit, telling the truth becomes a revolutionary act. George Orwell. My dear friends, and here, here it is. Here it is. You tell the truth, you are a revolutionary. So let's speak the truth and let's make a revolution. Let me show you what I'm, uh, what I'm talking about. Now, by now, you all heard about this uh, thing, what happened to the James Wood, where he uh, put his meme, where, where he was making joke. There was a parody uh, where, where it says, uh, we are making a woman's what worth more by staying at home. No. So what happened to James Woods? Okay, let, uh, let uh, me read, read this article. I will give you a link on these articles under the video. In the description section, you're gonna have, have these uh, links on this article that I'm uh, putting in the video so you, you, you can read it for yourself. But I'm, I'm gonna read it a little bit to you. <laughs> for those who, uh, who didn't uh, notice this thing happening. Outspoken conservative actor James Woods was suspended from posting to Twitter over a two months old satirical meme, which very clearly parodies a democratic advertisement campaign. While the actor's tweets are still visible, he is unable to post new content. The offending tweet was from July 20. Features three millennial age men with new male smiles and the text that reads, we are making a woman worth, worth more by staying at home. About it, Woods writes, pretty scary that there is a distinct possibility this could be real. Not likely, but in this day and age of absolute liberal insanity, it is at least possible. Now, and then he goes, according to, to screenshot provided by an associates of Woods, Twitter <laughs> directed the actor to delete the post on the grounds that it contained a text and imagery that has the potential to be misleading in a way that could impact an election. In other words, James Woods, who has approximately 1.27 million followers, was suspended because liberals who don't identify as woman might actually take the meme seriously and not vote. So what would what would be wrong if this kind of stupid uninformed idiots would stay at home? If some idiots see this meme and on the base of this meme they will stay at home and will not vote, well it's good for democracy. The democracy will flourish because only intelligent, informed people will go vote, and this kind of idiots, uninformed idiots, will stay at home. Well, democracy saved. All right, but this uh, this is not the main point of this video. There's some something else I I want to show you. Now look here, what they come with now. Twitter releases new policy on dehumanizing speech. It was 25th of uh, September, and it says the Twitter on Tuesday announced a new policy addressing dehumanizing speech. Susan Benesh, whose research Twitter cites in its announcement, defines dehumanizing speech as a describing other people in a way that deny or diminish their humanity. 
like comparing them to insects, demons or bacteria. The Dangerous Speech Project, she founded and directs, argues that it's one hallmark of wider category called Dangerous Speech, my dear friends. This is not a clash of civilization. This is clash of insanity and common sense. Like this, uh, this is a scene from the Battle of Marathon, where the, where the Greeks successfully fought off uh, Persian invasion and they defeated Persian army. The Persian army was the, was the army of the biggest empire at that time on earth and they defeated him. And this is it. And this is exactly what we are doing now. We are under attack. So can you imagine? So what will happen now on a Twitter? If you put a quote of Jesus Christ where he is saying to Pharisees and scribes, you sons of devil, you brood of vipers. If you're going to quote this, you are going to be suspended from the Twitter for hate speech. Because what? No, you're dehumanizing. You're using dehumanizing speech and that is against a policy. Jesus Christ today could not preach his gospel because in the moment he would put out the tweet addressed to scribes and Pharisees, Jesus Christ would be immediately blocked from a Twitter. Why? Oh, that Jesus Christ, he is using dehumanizing language. He calls scribes and Pharisees, he called them sons of devil. He called them brood of vipers. No, no, we will not tolerate this kind of hate speech on Twitter. And Jesus Christ will be banned for life from the Twitter. This is a fight. This is the fight for our civilization. We today are destined to repeat the Battle of Marathon. Not with uh, arms, but with our minds. Aristoteles said, It is the mark of an educated mind to be able to entertain a thought without accepting it. 